My opponents are hyper aggressive. They're using hand signals and they're very aggressive at the net. So the first piece of advice is just ignore the hand signals. Uh, that's just something that you don't need to think about. They're either gonna move or they're not gonna move and um, you know, who cares, right? So the advice I always get from, whether it's the Bryan Brothers or Navratilova or Gigi, is when you have someone that's super uh, aggressive, is you got to pick your return spots ahead of time. And if they move, great. And if they don't, and you hit it right at them, you know, okay, that happens. But you get yourself into more trouble when you're trying to watch the net person and watch the ball. You can't do both. And you're gonna miss a lot of returns. So. You know, they're, they're winning the point simply by forcing you to, to make sort of an unforced error. Now, the thing you can do that um, can add a little variety and increase your percentage is if the ball comes to your forehand, you will have pre-decided, well, I'm going to return it cross court. And if it comes to your backhand, you will have planned ahead of time, I'm going to take that down the line. So you want to pick both a forehand and a backhand return to, uh, to begin with and then uh, stick with it. doesn't matter if they go or they don't go. Some targets to keep in mind as you figure out where you should be aiming. Right here, maybe like the center net strap, but like slightly to the left in this case. Try and keep it low. Try and keep the ball through there. That's going to be tougher volleys for them to hit. Obviously, if you can dip it over there, that's great. That might not be a shot. Uh, in your arsenal. Um, there's the, uh, if they're super aggressive, right there can be a good target. Uh, and, and this would be, you know, if it comes into your uh, back end in this case, this is, this is like where you can pull it, right? It's an inside ground stroke. So you can hit it over there and the volley will probably come back kind of towards you if they hit it. So you're gonna get another swing at the ball. And if you move them over there, then you can hit the next one through the middle. And then the last one is, uh, a lob, or not necessarily a lob, but like a high ball, because it, it goes back to the high over the backhand, wh where you aim for a pretty big target, and you don't care if they get their racket on it. We call this shot the parachute. You're just trying to get it high over the backhand shoulder. Imagine the tennis ball sort of has a parachute on it, slowly coming down. And if they get a racket on it, that ball is 100% gonna go there the next time. So if you try that shot, just anticipate the next shot's gonna be here, start moving in that direction, and then you can hit through the middle and, um, and put that thing away. But to bring it back, uh, pick, you know, forehand, backhand, pick your targets ahead of time, start there, and then if you're still getting killed and villain has a good serve, this person's got great volley, super aggressive, then I would tell, uh, this is another Martina tip, have your partner not necessarily go all the way back to the baseline, that might be the last resort, have them stand in no man's land. Because if they're standing here, then there's a hole for villain to volley through. But if they're standing here now, then they're keeping more balls in front of them and they can pick something off and keep the, uh, keep the point going. So last resort, have your partner adjust their position and uh, then you'll be able to sort of work your way into the points better. Hope you like that training. And before you go, let me ask you a quick question. Are you a cat person or a dog person? Now, whatever you answered is totally fine. It's cool to be a dog person, cool to be a cat person, just like it's cool to be a singles player and it's cool to be a doubles player. And regardless of which one you are, I got you covered. Just click the link, come back, check out either the singles playbook or the doubles playbook. I'll show you some of my favorite plays.